Um, it's been an interesting Congress. I think we've had a lot of really frank discussions around, obviously, there's hindrances. So it's good to have that frank discussion around, you know, there's, there's problems, but there are success stories. And I think that one of the things that excites me, I was chatting to Willie earlier, just with regards to what's happening in Botswana, the collaborative efforts that have resulted in a really successful economy. So talk us through what's really worked well. Yeah. I think uh, there's no doubt Botswana is an amazing success story mm. um, by African standards. Mm. Uh, I think w w a number of key things have driven that success. I think primarily it's been around uh, good financial management of the economy. That, mm -hmm. that without a doubt is probably the starting point um, for, for the economy. Uh, diamonds have enriched the government and as a result the government has um, uh, not lined its own pockets, not lined the pockets of unscrupulous business people, mm. but it's really taken that money and put it to good use in terms of development. Um, education, health, infrastructure, uh, those are really the big uh, 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 long-term investments which government has, has used taking the, the, the diamonds, the, the, the revenue from diamonds. That's very refreshing because I work with quite a lot of people in Scandinavia and they have this policy where they look for three generations ahead of them mm. to ensure that the infrastructure and what they build now facilitates opportunities for mm. their grandchildren effectively or their grandchildren's children. Yeah. So in Africa, it's, it's something that we don't see a lot of and we talk about corruption, we talk about the fact that we do have money, we've got resources, there's opportunities, yes. but where's that money going and are we seeing these infrastructure spends um, that are relative to the market. So you talk about Botswana growing. What is it with regards to um, lessons that you've learned that potentially the rest of Africa can learn from? Yeah, from you. I think that's, that's really great. I mean, I think, uh, you know, one of the big lessons is around um, opening up the economy and creating more market-friendly policies. I think that's yeah. been very useful in terms of attracting uh, uh, investment into the country, yeah. in terms of enabling the businesses to grow. Um, so I think that's a really big lesson. I think if anybody out there is looking, I think that's a big lesson to learn from, from Botswana, is how do you open up the economy with very specific programs and policies, mm. um, starting right with immigration, how do you reform immigration to allow easier work permits and visas, mm -hmm. um, right down the way to how do you give investors access to land, um, how do you allow investors to be able to trade freely? Mm -hmm. um, how do you uh, enable investors to repatriate their funds? Because yes. that's important for investors of as course. well. So all of those, that whole program around uh, opening up the economy, market-friendly policies, is a big lesson I think that other African countries can learn from. Well, it's certainly, you know, for me, somebody that, that looks at all these market reforms that are coming in from both the United States, the European Zone, mm -hmm. and the UK, um, the infrastructure in Africa is not that developed. So we haven't mm. even, we ha don't have archaic tools. We don't have yes. tools. Mm. So in terms of building those type of sustainable um, opportunities to create that investment, because at the end of the day, we need to have a uh, level playing field. Yeah, yes. Um, and in terms of Africa going forward, do you think that there should be more collaboration, sorry, more collaboration? If we look at Africa as a big continent, we can't expect mm. it to be one continent. So mm. what do you feel about mm. the West Africa, East Africa, Southern mm. Africa collaborative efforts that speak to that zone within the, um, the global economy? Uh, quite frankly, I think not enough has been done. Um, I think if you, if, if you look at uh, an aerial view of just take the rail infrastructure yes. from, from Af in, of Africa as a continent, you will see that the infrastructure really talks to extracting things out of the continent. Mm. Um, I think uh, uh, you know, it's going from you know, small towns, big cities, right to the coast, to get stuff out. I think what we need is infrastructure that integrates Africa and allows people to travel more freely, starting with that, allows trade to happen. I mean, at the moment, for, for many people to travel within Africa, they have to either fly through Johannesburg or even fly through Europe. And you have to, to get, get a visa to, the, to go anywhere, And right? you have to get a visa yeah. to get anywhere. So I think those are sort of infrastructural things mm. we need to get around. Mm. Um, more mm. importantly, I think, you know, to, to manage the cost of infrastructure, there has to be collaboration mm. because a lot of this infrastructure um, will cross mi multiple geographic jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. And so it's important that when you ra lay the railway line, you have the buy-in from South Africa, from Mozambique, from Botswana, to allow a seamless flow um, of, of trade and, and, and for the project to even get off the ground. So that's going to be that's very important. very, th that is actually key. And I think that that's front and center what's really come out of the mm -hmm. summit that we've had is that, it, you know, Africa is a huge continent. It's mm -hmm. by uh, 10 times bigger than Europe, yeah. even more probably. It's yes. very fragmented. Yes. How do we make it work? We have to collaborate yes. together, mm -hmm. talk about the success stories, work together yeah. in an environment where mm -hmm. your successes can be my successes so that we create a better competitive environment. So I, I just want to thank you yeah. so much for being yeah. with me today. And I really, really um, encourage you to look at your counterparts that are weaker. Yes. Um, it's not about weakness <coughs> or strength, but it's about yeah. how do we do this better and yeah. more cleverly and more efficiently. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah. yeah. carry on yeah. Uh, flying the good flag and yeah. well 
well done in Botswana. It's, it's just such a legacy and so proud to be yeah. a part of this African continent. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.